All right, everybody, welcome back. Today, we're trying the white traps out again. So we had minimal success here with these um, middle of winter. So it's like the middle of summer. Let's give it a try now. See if it's really hot water that works well for them. I think it was really just the crappy crabbing, but let's see what happens. All right. This is how it's done. It ain't easy, but it's kind of effective. Let's drop these out. And probably about nine to ten feet of water. Perfect water depth, so let's see. Just because it's white doesn't mean it's gonna catch right, you know what I'm saying? It's going in. Okay. Try to drop this one this way. one in I'd say we made pretty light work of that so we'll be back in about two or three days check these traps and uh, see how white trap test three and this will be the summertime test goes stay tuned welcome back all right we are here collecting and testing the uh, white traps along with a couple other uh, hex mesh colors that we have out here, but those square white ones I thought were going to do really well in the winter time, but they just didn't produce But I think it was because we had kind of a crappy crabbing winter Let's see how we do today Okay, got a white one I want to say it's probably about eight to ten feet of water White traps have really not done great well, I see some crabs. I see some crabbies. What do we got here? All right. That ain't bad. Not bad at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get the bait out. Get these dumped. Seven is a good crab pot. Probably the best wing we've done on white ever. But I can't be 100% sure on that. But yeah, that's not bad. Go ahead, White. Reset. About 10, 11 feet of water, probably. Let's see. See some crabs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See lots of crabs in this one. That is a great crab pot there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another good crab pot. out of here. Get that bait out. Alright, let's get these dumped. Great crab pot. Good looking crabs in here. I don't think I can keep them all. But I got bigger crabs than I did on that first run. Two 
almost got them out. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to put pompano racks in and see if it hurts or helps. I've been using Menhaden, and Menhaden is probably the best bait you can use for crabbing. But we'll find out how this does. So stay tuned for some more pompano tests. As always, bait and funnels go on the bottom. Well, let's go ahead and get this out. Let's see if we can get an idea as to how deep the water is here. Say about 11 feet. This is a white trap. I see crabs. Not many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. We have a lot to have to go back. So what we got here? This one's probably got to go back. That one's probably got to go back. The little girl's going to go back. There's a baby baby in there. We could probably keep about three. So you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven again. Lucky number seven. Not bad. I may just pick a couple out and then release the rest. That didn't work. This one with Menhaden. Let's see what we got here. Bad. Bad. We have like five and a stingray. Those are good looking crabs. Those are good looking crabs. And let's get these dumped. Oh, you have five. Five crabs and a stingray. I'd really love to get that stingray out of here. I do not have to worry about that.
really not a bad day. You know, they're smaller crabs, but uh, I said we caught about 25. Only can keep maybe 15 or so. There was a lot of small, small crabs today. So um, I tossed quite a few back and actually I caught a few females, which is pretty unusual for how fresh the water is over here. So let's see how the Pompano does. Um, looks like I lost that one trap. So got stuck on the log or something and I'm not gonna be able to retrieve it today, but I'll keep working on it, see if I can get it back. Uh, but for today, a little less than 25 with four traps is not a bad day at all. Um, stay tuned, we'll be back for the Pompano test. So we'll see how that goes. All right, baby, brand new spot here. I don't know what came over me, but I just wanted to give this area a try. So here's where we are. Pretty salty water, very low expectations. Let's see what happens. Welcome back to Jimmy's and Sooks. This is Brad trying out a new spot. All right, we're gonna do a combination of fish and chicken probably just one day see what happens really struggling to find any kind of water depth it's like three feet the, the max I don't know it's gonna work so low expectations for sure we'll see what we get all right here's about the best water depth we're gonna find Looking pretty nasty behind me, but whatever. There's no way this is gonna work. There's no way. I'm hoping for the best. I just can't see it working. Too salty, but whatever. We got two out here. Tester, tester traps. Let's go check them. See if we got crabs. All right, here comes our first one. I could have <clears throat> literally walked from where I dropped my kayak in to come over here to get this trap I could have walked it didn't get any deeper than like two feet I can see I can see the trap So we got a crab, it is dead, I'm not really sure what that means, but whatever. Alright, well, positive enough. All right, so our first trap was probably in about maybe four feet of water. This one here, maybe two feet. Cool. Oh, okay. 
Oh, damn. Look at that guy. Damn, him and his buddy are monsters. Cut. God almighty. I'll be back. I will be back, sirs. Two great crabs. All right. You know, with the little bit of extra weight I have on here with these traps, I don't think I'll be able to make it in. I'm gonna probably walk this thing in. But look at that. And his buddy's huge too. Big crabs. Big crabs. Gotta be an eight incher and a seven incher. Solid. All right, let's see if we make it. All right, so we're gonna have to walk it in, but very shallow, very, very, very shallow. And you know what? Honestly, this is probably a prime spot for a little like nighttime or, uh, you know, walking the grass flats and trying to scoop them up. Cause it's just so shallow. But anyway, fun times, caught two big ones. I'll be back. All right, baby, Singer Island crabs. Can't beat that. God, he's a monster. I'm telling you what, that guy gotta be eight inches. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, just shy of eight. You can probably see. Just shy of eight. Monster crab. Bright and early, back out here for the white test. So this is the day two. Uh, we have two white and then two other ones. I think they're hex mesh and red and yellow. So let's see how they do. They've been sitting out here for about three days and yeah, hopefully we have some success. And maybe I can even get that one back that I dropped. Or not dropped, but that got stuck. We'll see. Let's do this. water depth although I didn't feel like we did exceptionally well last time but it's got to be at least 10 12 feet of water let's see what we get a couple crabs three crabs four crabs just bait out kind of tiny whatever get them dumped disappointed in the first pull expecting a lot more than four all right great water depth again here probably about 10 12 feet see some crabs a few more crabs this time one two three four five six six crabs is good 
nothing to write home about. And they're not exactly the biggest, but I'll take it. Here, this one's the hex mesh. I think it's red. So hopefully this one has a crusher in it. See some crabs right off the get-go, but not many. Three crabs. Three. Huh. Just getting no love today. Getting no love. Something awesome here. One, two, three. All right. Well, this was not great. Not great at all. Certain places where I get three per trap, and it really. great day because they're much bigger crabs today we're getting all babies four four crabs on this one all kind of baby size and drop them in the bucket I may just dump this whole bucket back I'm not really sure I want any of these I'll come back later for these because they're just not they're not big All right, well, I can't remember exactly what we got the first time I came out. I think it was about 20, maybe 25. Um, today we have 17. 17, and they're all super small. Nothing, nothing big in there, really. Maybe one or two would be like keeper size, but most of them are about, I don't know, five and a half or probably around five and a half and at the tippy top six. So let's go ahead and get rid of them. I'll come back later, pick them up when they're bigger. We'll go home, but it was still fun. Just not what I expected. It's daggone white traps, I don't know. Um, there was a lot of rain. We had a couple huge rainstorms that came whipping through here over the last couple days. Um, I don't live in this area, so I don't know if it rained really hard here, but down in Palm Beach, it was like crazy for a couple storms. So I would assume that had an effect here, you know, kind of flushed them out a little bit because the smaller the crabs, I feel like the fresher the water and we are in some fresh water. So anyway, uh, that'll wrap it up for me. Appreciate y'all watching. This is Brad from Jimmy's and Sooks signing out. Thank you for watching South Florida's Crabbing Channel and catch you next time. Please like, please subscribe. Keep being good to each other. Peace.